Okay, there's a real exciting topic here. Yeah, it's a little bit of sarcasm. Garage door opener. I've owned two homes. This is the uh, second home, second garage door opener that has had the same problem. And that is uh, a lot of noise when the garage door op uh, opener kicks on to open or close the garage. I also hear chain slap, I mean just clanging sound. It just doesn't look or sound good if you really look at it and pay attention to it. And the cause appears to be, at least with both my units, the the sprocket bearing on the top of the unit, uh, part of the actual opener assembly. And in both cases, I had no bearing. It, I don't think it's a real bearing. I think it's bushing. It's just garbage. And uh, it deteriorates pretty quickly over time. I'm sure a lot of homeowners don't realize it. And uh, in some cases, the garage door opener will open partially and then shut and then open and shut because the, the load on the motor uh, is too much and the motor will automatically shut down or or reverse to uh, close the garage door. So if you have a handyman, uh, rather than paying for a whole new unit, just replace the bearing with the proper bearing, uh, as in somebody that has an engineering degree that knows what bearing should be in these units. And that uh, that is a roller bearing not a, or a ball bearing not a bushing style bearing considering the lateral force on these uh, on these motors anyway a lot of technical terms there but bottom line is poor quality so many pinch pennies put a bad bearing in all of these units probably the number one cause and failure of these things but for four dollars and forty cents ace hardware you can get a bearing uh, you can either do it yourself or you can hire a handyman to install the bearing and I'm willing to bet that the reliability will increase dramatically on these uh, on your opener as well as the sound mine immediately quiet down once I put the bearing in set everything back up jobs not hard takes maybe an hour hour and a half uh, if you're methodical I'm not going to go through the actual dissection of the motor assembly now, ironically, I had two different brands of garage door openers between the two homes. Um, <laughs> the internals are identical. So it's probably one manufacturer somewhere in the world that builds these units for uh, your big name brand uh, garage door openers. And so you may pay more or less, but get the same quality, which is uh, not necessarily good quality um, in regards to this bearing, which is critical to its the garage door opener's function. but Anyway, it's a cheap fix. A little bit of time, a little bit of weekend. If you're somewhat handy, do it yourself. If you're not, then get a handyman. Uh, there are plenty of YouTube videos on how to take the case off of a garage door opener. It's really simple. Just take your time. I'll plug all the wires, mark them, uh, and be methodical. So, um, just scroll through the pictures here, see what I've done. It's not that difficult at all and uh, you will be pleasantly surprised as the result uh, is probably a lot cheaper and uh, you can at least have some peace of mind with uh, your garage door opener not moaning and groaning and feeling like it's going to puke on you um, or potentially break a chain break or something or other and damage a vehicle you might have in the garage and then that's just more expense so um, hope you uh, find this video, well, string of pictures handy and helpful. Thank you.